Hello everybody, welcome to DD90. Already DD90, amazing. Well, today we will study something about the Olympics. The Olympics are coming up this year in London, but it's not about the London Olympics, a different Olympics. But first, we need to go back to DD89, which was dictation about animals. Let's listen again. April 4th, the day to show compassion, care, and act for stray animals all around the world. Okay, the answers. April 4, the day to show compassion, care, and act for stray animals all around the world. You guys did a good job. This, ah, oh, this was really difficult. Very, very difficult. But Daniel got it. Progressive Daniel. Great job. I think he was the only one. I, I need to double check. Now, there are actually two grammatical mistakes. Can you find the grammar mistakes? Pause the video and check. Yeah, the grammatic mistakes, it's not serious, but this should actually be, see, be April 4th. You could say April 4. He said April 4. It's not totally wrong, but I think most native English speakers would say April 4th. And the other one would be this word. Actually, action would be better because it's a noun, noun, and not a verb. We want action. Action would be better. But it's okay. Anyway, this was difficult to hear. So, let's go to the top. April 4th. April 4th. Try and keep the TH sound. 4th. 4th. It's not, it's not strong. Fourth. No. Fourth. No. Fourth. April 4th. April 4th. The day to show compassion. What does it mean to show compassion? It means to show worry. To show sympathy for someone or something who is in a bad situation. So if you know somebody who's in a bad situation and you show sympathy, you are showing compassion. If you give sympathy, you are giving compassion. Showing compassion, giving compassion. Okay? The opposite of showing compassion would be to ignore something. Apathy. A-P-A-T-H-Y. Apathy. That's a good word. To show apathy means to show no concern, to not care. So showing apathy is usually never good. Showing compassion is almost always good, I think. So, April 4th, the day to show compassion. But not only compassion, care. So just don't show compassion, also care. Do something. Help. Be active. Okay, go in and do something, show care. We're talking about animals, so that means feed the animals, maybe try and find a home for the animals. That's the idea of showing care. And act, or action. Once again, action and care. Care would be, you know, you could just pet the animal, and action, doing something for the future of the animals. Okay? So show compassion, care, and action. That's April 4th. For who? For stray animals. Stray animals. Animals without homes. Animals without homes. Okay? And not just in your country, not just in Korea, not just in America, not just in Mexico, but all around the world. All around the world. All around the world. Suddenly, I remember an old song. I've been around the world. Hey, hey. I've been around the world. That was aqua. 
I'll stop singing. I, I, so, now, you guys are nice. You say my singing's nice. I know you're just being nice. Yeah. You can be, be honest. Be truthful. I can take it. Okay, so it's not too difficult. This, this was tough. Everything else, not too bad. The guy is, he's a Mexican. He was born in Mexico, but he moved to the U.S. and he's now a U.S. citizen. His English is great, no problem. But the pronunciation is not perfect, and the grammar, little tiny grammar mistakes, but that's okay. So when you guys are speaking English to a native English speaker, the most important thing is pronunciation. Then your grammar, if you're going to compare the two things. Pronunciation is most important, then the grammar. If your pronunciation is terrible, and your grammar is great, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. But if your pronunciation is great and your grammar is terrible, anyway, I can probably figure out what you're saying. And this guy did a great job. So let's say it together, regular American style. <clears throat> American 4th. Oops, American 4th. April 4th. The day to show compassion, care, and action for stray animals all around the world. A little bit more advertisement voice. April 4th. The day to show compassion, care, and action for stray animals all around the world. Did you? Do you like animals? Do you have pets? Some people talked about their pets. One person had a Doberman. A Doberman is a scary dog. And this person named their Doberman Danger. But evidently, Danger was a sweet dog. Do you have a pet? If you have a pet, attach a video. Give me a video. Tell us what kind of pet you have and what your pet's name is. Even if you were young and you had a pet, tell us about it. Leave a, a response so we can hear about your stories. Okay, let's listen two more times, then we will go on to the Olympics. April 4, the day to show compassion, care, and act for stray animals all around the world. April 4, the day to show compassion, care, and act for stray animals all around the world. This year in London, they are hosting the Olympics. What a great event. Are you going? Will you watch? Radik, I know you live in London or in England. Are you going to watch the Olympics? I believe Polish weightlifters and wrestlers are very powerful. Shot put, I think a lot of strong people in Poland. Um, well, <clears throat> when was the first Olympics? Do you guys know? They're not sure, but they think around 776 B.C. It's a long time ago. That was probably, probably, probably the first Olympics in Greece at Olympia. Olympia in Olympia in Greece. And then the Olympics faded away. They ended for a while. But then they started again. And when did they start again? They started in 1896. 1896. And that was in which country? Hmm. And where? Hmm. That is what today's Daily Dictation is about. So it's about the first Olympics that started again in 1896. Good luck. And today's question, after your pets, if you could be an Olympic athlete, Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics, it doesn't matter. If you could be an Olympic athlete, which event would you like to compete in? I'll give you my answer uh, next lesson. Next lesson might be tomorrow. I think I will have some time tomorrow. So leave a response and uh, do the dictation 
and I will say hello to the new subscribers right after you dictate DD90. Eighteen ninety six. The first modern Olympic Games open in Athens, Greece, land of the ancient games, with athletes from fourteen countries. Eighteen ninety six. first modern Olympic Games open in Athens, Greece, land of the ancient games, with athletes from 14 countries. 1896. The first modern Olympic Games open in Athens, Greece, land of the ancient games, with athletes from 14 countries. 1896. The first modern Olympic Games open in Athens, Greece, land of the ancient games, with athletes from 14 countries. 1896. All right, it is time to say hello to our new subscribers. We got Baikodina, Baikodina from Spain. Gracias. Thank you very much for joining the channel. Baikodina got his YouTube name from Vicodin, which in Spanish is actually Vicodina. And this is actually a, a drug. It's a painkiller. And if you guys know the, the drama, the medical drama called House, House MD, it's actually a really good drama drama. I like that show. I don't like TV, but I do like House. That's, that's a good one. I saw it many years ago. And he, the doctor, Dr. House, is actually addicted to Vicodin. It is a painkiller. So it's kind of a cool name. Good idea. Okay, from Thailand, we have Nachaket. Nachaket. And his name is actually Ping. Ping, nice to meet you. Thank you. Kopkun. Kopkun. Is my pronunciation okay? I'm trying to say thank you. Kopkun, Kopkun. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining the channel, Ping. Okay, from China, we have My Mofis. My Mofis. My Mofis. Xie Xie. Xie Xie. Thank you for joining my channel, My Mofis, in China. Thanks a lot. From Russia, Spasibo. Spasibo to Elder Sharapov. Elder Sharapov, Sharapov. Now Sharapov, that's... I know that name. I don't know why I know that name. It seems familiar. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Brazil, obrigado, obrigado to Enchiquitano, Enchiquitano 1, Enchiquitano 1, Enchiquitano 1, obrigado. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Korea, Dehan Minguk, J. H. Lim, 1216. Is that your birthday, December 16th? Hmm, interesting. My birthday is December 22nd. But I have to remember your birthday before you remember my birthday. Yeah, I'll try. I probably won't. But anyway, uh, you're, you're like a brother. Our birthdays are so close. Come sum it up. Thank you very much for joining. Come sum it up. From Ecuador, gracias. Gracias to... Jesus le maguamba. Oh, I know it's Jesus, right? Jesus le maguamen. Jesus le maguamen. I don't know what that means. Jesus, Jesus. It could be Jesus as in God's son. It could be Jesus as just a name. I know a lot of Spanish people have the name Jesus. Hmm. Uh, it's a very long name. And this guy, he has some videos about Ecuador. And did you know that Ecuador is on the equator? It's on the equator, the Galapagos Islands, and then Ecuador. But Ecuador, because of its mountains, it's, it's really, it's like the jungle down in the lower lands, but up in the mountains, it gets really cool. 
and really nice. And the videos he has, uh, they look great. I think I could live in Ecuador. It looks really nice. And they have such delicious food. Gracias. Thank you very much for joining. Now, we go down to Vietnam. Vietnam is also a very, very hot country. December 2711. I don't know what that means, 2711. December 2711. This person is uh, from Dong Nam? I have Dong Nam written here. Is that right? From uh, Dong Nam, in, which is, anyway, in southern Vietnam. It's in southern Vietnam. And I should say thank you. Cảm <clears throat> ơn. Cảm ơn. Thank you. Cảm ơn. Difficult. Vietnamese is difficult to pronounce. But the next one is much easier for me to pronounce. Shokran. Shokran. Thank you very much to English Teacher 300 from Saudi Arabia. English Teacher 300. ET 300. Hmm. My old name was ET 200. You're ET 300, so I guess you're better than me. Anyway, Shokran, thank you for joining my channel. Thanks to everybody. And please, tell your friends, go to Twitter, your Facebook, or whatever it is, and uh, ask your friends to join the channel. Let's make the channel bigger and better. And if you have uh, an idea, a request, let's study about this, send me a video link and I can look at it, and maybe we can use it. Once again, thank you, everybody, for joining my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.